as you input images into Lightroom and you start developing them, one of the things you want to do is to add some metadata. And you can add some metadata when you input images into Lightroom in the input dialog box. But you can also add them inside library module. That's what we're going to do here. You're probably going to take this approach more often because things like keywords, for example, you're not going to add the same keywords to every image you input. So when you in library module, then you can add uh, some keywords in here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do here. So I'm in the library module. I've got some images here. I'm just going to select a few of them for now. So let's say maybe these three. Just holding Control key or Command key on the Mac to highlight the multiple images. Now here on the right hand side, in the pane on the right hand side, as we scroll down, we've got a keyword in section here. I'm just going to collapse the histogram for a minute. So you can add some keywords. So say this could be, for example, uh, Chilterns. And then you can add multiple keywords by using commas. So comma uh, Buckinghamshire. Hmm. Or maybe also Bucks. Okay. And just press Enter, Return to accept it. Okay. Then you do the same with the other images. But here's another alternative to adding metadata. As you start adding metadata, Lightroom will remember them. So if you use some metadata a lot, multiple times, remember them. So here's an example. If I select maybe another image, like this one, I can start typing the keyword and Lightroom will highlight it. If I type BU, Buckinghamshire, and Bucks are highlighted, so you can just press Enter, Return to accept it. Just add a comma and then type B again. And put a keyword in here. Or, to give you another example, maybe with uh, this image and these, you can use keyword suggestions, and Lightroom remembers the keywords you've used in here. So you can just add bugs, just click on it, Buckinghamshire and Chilterns, so you don't even have to uh, type them. And obviously you can do it on a, on a large number of images, so if I wanted to add a number of keywords to images, I could just select them all and add keywords. Here's another thing. I'm going to add another keyword to this image here, but just this one here. So I'm going to add a comma and macro and maybe say trail. Okay. I'm going to select multiple images, so I'll select these two and this one here as well. And now we've seen that some keywords have the asterisk icon. What this means is that some images, well, in this case, macro and trail have asterisks. What this means is that some of the images have the macro and trail keywords, but not all of them. Like in this case, is this image that has a Buckinghamshire, Bucks, Chilterns, and macro and trail, where these two only have Buckinghamshire, Bucks, and Chilterns keywords. That's what asterisk is for in here. Lightroom will tell you that when you move the cursor over the uh, over the, the keywords, Lightroom will tell you that this it means the tag is applied to only one or some of the selected uh, photos. Metadata you add in here are a standard metadata which will work across different applications. So if you import, if you take these images and take them into Bridge, Bridge will remember that as well. Bridge will be able to read it as well. It's a standard metadata. It's not just something that Adobe created. So a number of different applications will be able to read the metadata. Sometimes you can even see the keywords in, say, Windows Explorer at the bottom of the screen, especially the keywords. Okay. So that's how you can add keywords to one image or a couple of images or multiple images at the same time using library module here in Lightroom.